Hey guys, I'm SKV and you're watching SKV Plays On and welcome to another video of Dauntless and if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and if you like it a bit more, please do subscribe to the channel and without further ado, let me get straight to the point. The point is, it's Christmas and a very Merry Christmas to all of you and a Happy Holidays. Uh, and now getting to my video which is, well, I'm kinda making a video for my Malkarian Strikers. Pretty much I'm using the same build for all the Malkarian weapons, but I can't say that because I've only made the Strikers and the Sword for the Malkarian type of weapons. I haven't crafted the other types because I'm still working on the parts and materials to craft it and upgrade it. When I do, I'm going to be using this build right now as you can see, this particular build. I can use it even for the Sword if it's a Malkarian type. And because of the legendary weapons being able to use any type of cell slots, it really makes it easy for anyone to make a build of their own choice or of their own liking. And this build I'm using right now can also work for repeaters, just in case any of you uh, favor the repeaters a whole lot. And uh, here's a gameplay of me going up against a Koshai Heroic. I'm not doing the escalation because it takes too long. I'm just doing a solo. Just to show you what the build can do and it does have a, a lot of attack speed and on top of that because it's a legendary weapon i'm able to use another sp uh, similar elemental type weapons abilities like the drask which is a shock type elemental weapon also i was able to use that ability and get plus three atric attunement from it and also the extra 30 percent uh, damage on the head which is a special or a passive special of the grass weapons. Now then, let's see where this particular behemoth is. Hopefully I can get a decent time. I usually use no potions and I'm able to get around 3 minutes. At the end of the hunt it shows around 3 minutes or maybe less than 4 minutes I would say without potions and I'm not going to be using potions so check it out hopefully I'm uh, decent at this gameplay but just running to the behemoth itself probably took what 30 seconds out okay maybe someone can time it I won't be timing it you guys can time it starting now Let's see, did I get maybe 4 minutes? 
four minutes maybe. Um, I probably wasted too much time. Okay, there we go. Like I said, around three minutes. And I got an S++. This build is pretty good. And because of the attack speed, it kind of really works out. This is my build and I'll put the link in the description. If you want to change out anything, you can because it's not going to be a big problem because these legendary weapons pretty much can use any type of cells and can balance out your build in the style you want it. And also this build I'm using is mainly because I can ch change it out with the repeaters also. It kind of works really good with the repeaters also, the same build. When I do craft all the other weapons and get a decent upgrade on it, I'll probably stream that uh, video and then you probably might join me on the stream where I'm using all the Malkarian weapons with the same build. Maybe change it here and there with just the cells. Because this is the same type of build I'm going to be using for all the Malkarian weapons. I've already even planned out how to do it. Uh, you guys can try it out uh, in any way you want. If you want to tweak it a little bit with this particular build, you can go for it. I put the link in the description. You can change it however you like it. But my suggestion is for axes, let it be the same. For hammers also, you can let it be the same. Maybe you can take out conditioning and uh, maybe, I don't know, anything else you want to take out and then add a uh, knockout if you want to or you can even add overpowered if you want to but yeah even without wild frenzy you will still have 30% attack speed because of the lantern and conduit for sure but if you're going with the axe stick to this build itself and then use the particular aetheric attunement type for the axe and also the particular conditioning plus three that's about it and as always you guys keep smiling and a very merry christmas and a happy holidays and a sayonara a tata i see you and a bye bye i'm done for this video oh just in case you forgot please check your events or contract event for the watch cap i'll put the video thing at the end of this video maybe you can click on it so yeah that's about it see you should probably be showing right now oh well